I need to drill a hole about this long through a brick wall and it's really, really important that the end of it is right in this corner and nowhere else. I've got to come in from the other room and I've got to land in exactly the right place and there's no margin for error. I can't afford to blow out the face of a brick in this listed building. So I'm gonna use a laser and a couple of other tricks and let's find out how. So we need to make this hole and I wanna start this hole uh, from this corner up here. Uh, and most crucially, it needs to end in a very precise place. The hole has to finish exactly in this corner because in future I'm gonna be putting a cable run uh, across there and I need to hide some cabling uh, through the building. So the end point is crucial and I can only drill one way. I have to start this side because I can't physically get the drill in there. So when you're trying to drill a hole with a very precise ending point, you really need to get the right angle. So I'm going to have to do some sort of calculation to work out what the angle is. So let's take a look at what we're going to need to measure in order to calculate how to drill this hole. So remember, we are trying to go from point A up and over uh, to point B. Now this involves going in three different dimensions. We are going to have a gain or loss of height, which is Y. In my case, I'm going up, so positive Y. We're also going through the wall thickness, Z. If this was the doorway, by the way, here that we were looking at a minute ago, then the Z is the distance like across the doorway in that direction. And then the other thing we're doing, again, if this is the doorway, is the distance X, which is the along the line through the door. So we're going a certain X, a certain Z and a certain Y to achieve our goal. And what we want to know is a couple of things. We want to know how far down from the horizontal the drill bit needs to be. So looking straight in from the side here, um, what's this angle down to the horizontal? And then the other thing I'm going to want to know is what is the angle out from the wall to the drill bit? this angle here. So that is H and D respectively. The uh, H angle that we want here, this horizontal dip angle is this. It's the inverse tan of Y divided by X, which we can easily work out either on our calculator or I'm gonna provide you with a link later in the video to a nice Google Doc worksheet where you can put all your measurements in and just get these answers out without doing anything. So uh, that is that angle. This angle from the wall to the drill bit's a little more complicated. Again, nothing that we can't do on a calculator in a few seconds. I'll show you that later. And then finally, we need to know how long a drill bit to use and also where to mark our drill bit so that we know uh, when we should be coming out the other end. Uh, and that is given by this formula here, the length, which is the square root to the power of a half means square root. It's the same as this without the half of these three distances added together. So now, the question comes, uh, how do we measure these distances? Well, I'm glad you asked. That is the next segment of the video. All right, let's take a look at the bits of equipment we need. A tripod, preferably with a ball head. This ball head allows you to orientate the thing that we're gonna be putting on it, which is the laser, in any direction. Okay, so tripod, good shout. Uh, drill bits, but please don't buy them until we've calculated the required length. Rubber or a razor. Pencil. Now this thing's cool. This is a digital angle measure. Now what this does for you is it lets you uh, split like this and read out an angle in degrees and then we can physically hold this against the wall uh, and guide our drill bit. So sneak preview of what's to come there. A little um, level, bubble level is a good idea here. Some tape to mark the drill bit and the floor. Uh, this is a obviously tape measure. Now this is the main bit of equipment you need. You need a three by 360 degree uh, laser level device. And you need one that has a gimbal lock on it so that you can lock the gimbal and still have the laser uh, shining, all right? So that you can have it on the tilt uh, and also still shining. Not all of them can do that. I'll put a link to this one in the chat. So they're the tools I'm gonna be using for this job. All right, we're at the stage where we're gonna measure the delta Y, the vertical offset between the two ends of this drill hole. So we grab our 360 degree laser measure, it only needs to be on the horizontal plane for now, that's absolutely fine. Position it somewhere that it puts a line right in one of the corners, uh, below or above the start or end point, uh, and then crucially over in the other room here, uh, make sure that you can hit the wall in here as well. It doesn't need to go right in the corner, that's gonna be hard to arrange, but you do wanna get, get the wall, right? So to get the first measurement, what we do is we simply, and it's very easy to do this to a laser by the way, we simply go from the end point, and this is 1070 
millimeters in my case, 1,070 millimeters. All right, now, before you move this laser, what we do is we come into the other room here, find a little bit of wall where the laser is, and just make a tiny little mark, all right, on the wall with a pencil you can rub out uh, later. Then what we do is we can continue this horizontal line by bringing the laser into the other room. Now, if your floor's really level, you might be lucky and not need to adjust it, but in my case, I need to bring the laser up, letting it settle, until I'm on the pencil mark I just made. Try and be plus or minus one millimeter, if you possibly can, um, which is there. So now I'm lined up with the pencil mark I just made. And of course the beam goes right into the corner. Make sure it also goes into the corner. Right, cool. So now we've got a very simple measurement to make the other end. We go from the corner with a push measurement like that. And then we read off seven, three, nine millimeters in my particular case. Write these values down, uh, make sure you know exactly which value is which and you're not confused about it. And let's move on to the next measurement. All right, let's deal with what I call the easy horizontal axis or Z uh, when we sat and talked about it on the sofa. What we're trying to do here is set up a beam through the door so that we can just measure this distance. I'm trying to drill from about here up into that corner. So I wanna know how far. It's gonna be about this much. That way I need to go. How am I gonna work that out? Well, I'm gonna set up my three line laser beam in gimbaled mode, so I want the gimbal to be working. I want wibbly wobbly lines when I touch it because that means that it's gravitationally stabilizing and these are vertical. And I want this to be uh, aligned on the tripod so I can actually see a uh, cross on the ground here. All right, sometimes the cross hits the tripod leg. So get it so you can see the cross on the ground. That's gonna be important later. But for this measurement, it's uh, relatively simple. What we do is we bring it into the doorway and what we're trying to achieve is we're trying to get the beams so that one is in plane with the door and then the other is parallel with the wall. Assuming whoever built this house built it plumb, um, <laughs> which they probably didn't, but hey. So what we do is we do that and I can see very nicely now that this way is correct, therefore, I'm pretty confident that this line that we've got is also parallel with the wall. So before I accidentally kick this, in the next step, we're gonna be using um, a couple of pieces of tape on the ground. I'll explain why when we get there. But for now, I what I want you to do is go about a pace from the uh, laser. The distance doesn't matter too much. It just needs to be far enough away to get a decent baseline for accuracy uh, and near enough that you can still see the laser. Draw along the laser line and then draw a cross. I don't care where you draw a cross, right? Don't kick your laser as you go through into the other place. Come, you know, a stride or so away. Pop your, your piece of tape on the floor. I'm using green tape because uh, the laser is green and it shows up really nicely. Draw along the line and then a cross. All right, now those two, we're not gonna use it in this stage, but we are gonna use those in the next stage, which is gonna be super handy and save us from moving things and repeating ourselves. We're pretty much there. To get this difference, we've just got two very simple measurements to take. One is to ask yourself, hey, what's this distance here? And in my case, it's eight, six, three millimeters. And then again, without disturbing your laser, just come the other side and do the same thing over to the laser beam. And in my case here, I'm getting about seven, five, three millimeters there. So we have our second measurement. All right, time to measure our X offset, which is potentially the hardest one, because this time we're trying to measure the distance from here to the other side of the wall. And we can't really send a plane through the doorway this time, because we want to know this offset. So this is why we've got the marks on the floor. Move your apparatus with the same two vertical lasers so that the cross mark is precisely over the, uh, the X that we marked there. And then that gives us a projection into the wall here that we can make a nice simple uh, measurement of. So we can come along here and say that that is something like 776. Uh, anyway, what you do is you pick this uh, puppy up and move it to the other room. So here we are in the other in the other area on the other side. Of course, this method works for all sorts of geometries, not necessarily just um, what I've got here with the doorway, but this is a tricky circumstance, so I thought I'd show you that. So what I'm doing now is I'm over the top of this mark, uh, and then what I'm trying to do is to make sure I'm also along the line there, basically just making sure that this laser's in plane again. All right, so finally, you get yourself a line. Now this isn't perfect, but for the sake of expediency, I think you get the idea. That X should be on that X, that line should be on there. All we're gonna do now is take yet another measurement from the corner to here. In this case, I'm getting a six, five, three millimeters, making sure your ruler is horizontal. 
Um, now, there's one final measurement we need to take here. So we've got the distance from one of these arbitrary laser lines to the wall <clears throat> and the distance from this other arbitrary laser line to the wall. But what we don't know yet is the distance between these two x's. We haven't yet measured that. So the final thing uh, we need to measure in all of this is this distance here. You might want someone else to help you make sure you're bang on target the other end. And I get 1812 uh, millimeters. So they're the three different numbers you're going to need for this. So briefly back to the computer, we're going to work out our angles and our drill bit length. So I provided you a handy worksheet. You can go and get a link to this in the description and it is a Google sheet. So if you are not signed into Google or do not want to sign into Google, that is fine. You can go file, download Microsoft Excel and you can just use this as an Excel sheet. If you have a Google account and you're happy to sign in, an alternative for you is file and then you will see the make a copy option becomes available and you make your own copy of this sheet. Wicked. Now let's have a quick look how to use it. Now you can use any units, inches, millimeters, centimeters, whatever you like, just be consistent all the way through. So we started off, we worked out that difference in height. So we put in one measurement, the other, and this just subtracts and makes the difference. We move down to that easy horizontal distance. Remember where the laser plane could go through the aperture, through the door or the window. Uh, again, starting, ending, and then the difference. So the important thing here again is that you've got the difference in the cell that I'm highlighting. Finally, we had our slightly harder measurement, uh, which is where we took a laser beam, measured it to the wall. Then we then moved the whole apparatus by a certain amount. These numbers, by the way, won't match exactly what I did in the video. These numbers are ones that I did before a little bit more accurately and carefully. Uh, but the distances, the Y, Z and X should be very similar. Uh, and then finally, we took a final measurement, right? So we took a measurement. We move the apparatus, which is this this here, and then we took another measurement. So all this does is it just kind of combobulates those numbers such that you get the difference, the delta x. Again, you can just put that value straight in that cell if you want. Anyway, at the end of the day, it just does exactly the formula I told you, arctan y over x here, and gives you this horizontal drill angle off the vertical. Uh, and then it does the slightly more complicated formula that had arctans and square roots in it, which tells you this angle out from the wall, which we'll see in a minute when we do the drilling. And then finally, it tells you the your drill bit length. Um, now make sure you get the units, understand what the units are here. In my case it's 505 millimeters, about half a meter, uh, and that's you need to make sure your drill bit's at least that long, plus a bit for safety, you know, the chuck getting in the way and all this type of type of stuff. So that's it. That's the sheet. That's your tool for doing it. You can, if you're au fait with the maths, simply just calculate from scratch yourself. Um, and that's it. Enjoy. All right, remembering we're going to be drilling something like this, this is the angle we're trying to establish now. So we need to go back to our laser. This is where I said you need to have a gimbal lock on it. So instead of sliding the unlock in this one's case, which lets it float with gravity, I'm just gonna push and hold on here, which will turn it on in, in a mode that lets me tilt the laser, okay? It will protest a little bit. It's gonna flash now and then, but it'll let me tilt it. So once we are in that situation, now we can have a humble assistant come along with the little tiny straight edge and the angle measure. And this lets us align our laser beam. So my job here is to try and get the laser so it hits right up in the corner. I've got to hit the start mark and be at the angle that my fair assistant is measuring. All right, I think we've got it level, wicked. All right, so this is the first time we've seen this angle measure in use. So what we do is we zero it, and then we're going to rock it down like this so that we can work out uh, what our angle is and give herself a guide. It's 41 and a half degrees, if I remember rightly in my case. So you, you just twiddle it until it's 41 and a half degrees. And then you, you should have a friction lock on it so we can get it exactly right. That'll do. There you go. All right. Angle is set and we're going to use it something like this against the wall. Finally, we get to drill our blinking hole. So I've put a piece of tape, 505 millimeters, my uh, length measurement by calculation here, so I know when I should have emerged on the other side, all right? Now, to get this hole started, I'm going to need to come in horizontally initially. We obviously want our drill on hammer action, so I'm going to start horizontally just to get purchase on the slot. Right on the X, remember that's 15 millimeters down in this case, and 15 millimeters across. And I'm just gonna get it going in the first place. All right, now that we've got a hole to get some purchase, my task is to do two things at the same time. Number one, I need to keep the drill bit 
once it's located in the hole, I need to keep the laser along the drill bit. In this case, it's just along the top of the drill bit. It'll probably move up a little bit as I go, right? So that's guiding me in this direction. And then slightly trickly, but definitely doably, there you go, doably is a new word for you. Um, I'm gonna have this angle measure, which I've set here to uh, 12.4 degrees. Uh, I'm gonna have that for my angle between the laser line and the drill bit. That's how I get my second angle. So I'm drilling precisely like this. And then I'm just gonna check back in with this other one regularly, okay? So the laser is gonna be the main thing that guides me up and down. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of drilling. And then I'm gonna check in with the angle here. I'm gonna keep the laser on target. And eventually, by the way, the uh, angles will maintain themselves, but it's really important we start right. So by the looks of it, we've hit a bit of wood inside the wall, which is fine. Just need to switch temporarily to a wood bit uh, to sensibly get through that. It's getting a little bit loud up here, so modern AirPods are pretty damn good at blocking sound. So a couple of those in. Um, I'm gonna just rely on these as safety specs, but if you don't wear normal eyeglasses, then do wear something over your eyes. Time for an after action report. That was pretty good. I landed within a couple of centimeters of where I wanted to be. And when I look back at the video, I, I was so focused on the filming that actually the laser wasn't perfectly along the drill bit. So the first after action report point would be make sure the laser really stays aligned with the drill bit, especially uh, early on. The other thing is I wasn't wearing safety goggles in the beginning. Please make sure you protect your eyes from the beginning. The other thing I didn't talk about is checking for cables in the wall. If you would like to know methods for checking for cables and making sure that you're electrically safe and also safe from the standpoint of the other two big problems in walls, which is gas pipes and plumbing, then subscribe to the channel and I'll be sure to put some content about that out shortly. Uh, finally, any suggestions on how I could have done this better? Uh, very welcome. Please, let's have a discussion in the chat about it. I hope you can take something from this and it helps you get a hole where you need it when you need it.